Guys, we have some breaking news that just came in under an hour ago. From the time of this recording, I want to share with you all in a timely fashion as it pertains to both Ripple and XRP. Guys, I'm going to let you all decide whether you believe this is either good news or bad news. But I'm going to talk to you about what Team Ripple is saying, the CEO of Ripple, Brad Garlinghouse, and give you my personal opinion at the end of the video. All I ask is if you do like talking about both Ripple and XRP, guys, you know what to do. Drop an X in the comment section, smash that like button, and share this video. Let others around the world know what is truly happening in this digital revolution as we're seeing come out of Watcher Guru about a half hour ago, guys, from the time of this recording, just in. Ripple co-founder Chris Larson says he is donating 10 million in XRP to Kamala Harris. Now, I'm gonna talk to you about what Chris Larson just said as well as Ripple's CEO, Brad Garlinghouse, but I believe that Chris has already sent her 1 million and now this is saying 10 million. So I want to touch on that in the end as well. As Chris Larson puts out, it's time for Democrats to have a new approach to tech innovation, including crypto. I agree. I believe that Kamala Harris, he states, will ensure that American technologies dominate the world, which is why I'm donating 10 million in XRP in support of her. Now, right after that, Brad Garlinghouse came out and stated, I respect Chris's and everyone's right to support whoever they think is best to lead the U.S., he stated, we need to immediately change course from this administration's misguided war on crypto. Got to agree with that, right? And then finally, Ripple will continue to engage with both Democrats and Republicans in the final days of campaigns and after the election to promote pro-crypto policies. It's not about party lines, he states. It's about championing policies that drive blockchain and crypto innovation. And I agree with that. Now, this is my thoughts and my take on this. First off, unfortunately, crypto has gotten very political and fortunately. We can say unfortunately or fortunately because in a way it's great, right? Because now crypto is in the limelight. We're finally getting the attention we deserve. Now this election, uh, part of the narrative is crypto. We know that Donald Trump has came out, fully endorsed crypto. Bitcoin and crypto said, you know, I'm your guy. I'm your pro crypto candidate if you're in on crypto. Now, I've said in the past when it came out that Chris Larson was donating, and correct me if I'm wrong, guys, I believe he's already donated $1 million. I said this is obviously a hedge because if for whatever reason Kamala wins, and let me be clear with you all, I don't believe, let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments section below as well, I don't think she's going to win. I think things are starting to uh, turn in favor of Donald Trump, and he's starting to get a lot of momentum in these last few weeks. And we're kind of starting to see that, especially with uh, different betting pools and things out there going in his favor in a big way. Uh, but what I've said is this is an obvious hedge that if Kamala wins, that we'll probably look back at this in a year and say, oh, that's obviously why Chris Larson did that. Now, on the other side, we know that Chris Larson is from San Francisco. He is more democratic. We know that Brad Garlinghouse, based off what he said here, pretty much is saying you know, I respect his right to support whoever they think is best to lead the U.S. He's kind of saying in a way, you know, it's not his decision. It's Chris's decision. And I respect everyone's decision. But essentially, it doesn't matter if you're Democrat or Republican. We've got to move crypto forward. And I agree with all that. Now, what I don't necessarily agree with is 10 million. That's a good chunk of change. 10 million is a lot of XRP. As an XRP investor, I'm not necessarily happy with that. I believe that 10 million could go for better uses. And so that's kind of my take, my opinions on it, guys. Let me know your thoughts, your opinions, in the comment section below. As always, I just want to get you this information as it comes out in real time. We'll see you all in the next one.